Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install Rift and to go back to any OG Fortnite season you want inside of Chapter 1. So this will be pretty easy as long as you follow all the steps. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to the description of this video and join the Rift Discord server and go to the downloads channel. Right here you'll see Rift.zip, but you're not going to want to download it just yet. You're going to want to go down here to type the search and look up Virus. Then you'll see virus and threat protection you're going to want to click it. Once you're here, click manage settings and disable real time protection. You, you're going to want to do this because Rift comes out as a false positive. Once you're done doing that, you can click the download button right here and then Rift will download. Once that's done, you can open up your downloads folder and drag Rift into your desktop. Once you have it right here where you can see it, you can go ahead and create a new folder and call it Rift. Drag it in here and extract the files. All this might not show up for you, but you don't have to worry about that. Once you have that done, you can go back to the Discord and download .NET Core 3.1 SDK. Want to click yep, and it will automatically download. Once that's done, you can go to your downloads folder and go ahead and just drag it in here. Once you have it in your desktop, you can double click it and click install. Click yes and just wait for this to finish. Once that's done installing, you can delete this, you don't need it anymore and you can go ahead and try to open rift and i already have it installed but for you it might say to download something called microsoft edge web review or something like that and you're going to want to go ahead and download it it's pretty easy i'm pretty sure it's almost exactly the same as the dot runtime we just installed so yeah anyway once you have rift open you can go ahead and minimize it as we're not going to need it right now and now you can download any version of fortnite you want so you can download season one through seven through here in this github that i will put in the description below and let's say you want to download one of these seasons out of google drive you're going to want to click the link and click download it might show you in something like this don't worry about this it's an easy fix all you need to do is click the three dots and add a star then you're going to want to close to your google drive create a new folder right here click folder and just name it whatever you want go to your starred Click whatever version you starred and drag it to my drive and then to the folder that you created. Once you're there, you should see the version you put in and all you need to do is click download. It's going to show you that it's loading for an infinite amount of time with no change. Don't worry about that. It will eventually start downloading. If you want to download to season 7 to versions we have now, you're going to want to click easy installer right here and it will install easy installer. You shouldn't be able to open it just yet, so you're going to want to go to Python. 3.9.6 it's, it's just like downloading all the things we've downloaded so far besides rift if you follow all my steps to download easy installer you can just drag it to your desktop as well double click it and you should see all the versions right here so let's say i want to download season 7 right here you make sure it doesn't say android you're going to want to download the one with windows on it so i'll download 7.30 which is number 32 you're going to want to type 32 create a new folder for the version you're going to download call it whatever you want Double click the folder, go up here, click it, and then copy this link right here by control C. Then control V and paste it in here. Then you click enter, then your version will start downloading. So once it downloads where it says ETA, you should see the amount of time that's estimated for it to finish downloading. So that's how you install something from Easy Installer. A second way to download the versions in Easy Installer is by using the manifest. I'll leave this in the description below as well. So let's say you're gonna want to download version 8.51, which is the which is the unvaulting event. You're gonna wanna click manifest and copy this link right here. You're, then you're gonna wanna click D, paste the link in, create a folder for your version, copy it just like if you were not using a manifest ID, then control V and enter. Then your version will start downloading. When the drive links are done downloading, drag whatever version you got onto the, the desktop, right click it and click extract here. Wait for this to finish extracting. When it finishes, you can open up Rift again. Once you put in your username, you're just going to want to call this the version of Fortnite you got in case you got any more versions. Click the three dots right here and then look for wherever you put it. For me, it's called Fortnite 3.5. You're just going to want to click it. And just keep clicking until you find where it says Fortnite game and engine. Once you see those two, you're going to want to click select folder and then confirm. Then you should see the version right here. You click it and then you launch. If it didn't log you in, I'll show you a fix right now. You're going to want to download Fiddler 4 and I'll leave it in the description below that will automatically download. You're just going to want to click it and then set it all up. Once it's downloading, you can click type here to search, type Fiddler, then open it up. You're going to want to go to tools, options, 
HTTPS, check the first three. It's gonna show up something like this for you. Click Actions, Trust Root Certificate, and then click Yes to whatever it tells you. Then go to Fiddler Script. Delete everything that it's gonna show you right here. It's gonna show you a lot more. Once you've done that, go to Tutorial, and then copy everything that you see here. Control V, and then Save Script. Now you shouldn't have that error anymore as long as you minimize it. Note that this might turn off your internet. It's not a problem, it's just kind of annoying. So in case it does turn off your internet at any point, just type in proxy and disable everything right here. For me, it turned it on, so you're just going to want to disable this and then close it and you're good. Now that you're in old Fortnite, you can look around. You don't have any skins. You can get skins, but I'm not going to go through that in this video. But now if you want to go in game, just click F3 and you'll be taken inside the map. You might not have the mini-map depending on what version you're in, and Rift doesn't support Chapter 2 just yet, but depending on when you watch the video, they might be able to support it by then. You can change your keybinds to your liking if you want to just do high ground retakes in old Fortnite. And now you can just look around and see all the stuff that used to be here for nostalgia. Multiplayer will never be supported because obviously Epic would not like that, so all you can really do is just look around. You can type in commands using the tilde key. I'll put a picture on screen on where it is. And if you don't have the tilde key because you have a weird keyboard layout, just click F8 and it will also open. I'll leave a list of commands in the description below. But right now, I can show off the common commands. If you want to go extremely fast, you can type in slow-mo and any number between 1 and 100. 1 is normal and 100 is fastest. Another command that you're able to use is toggle debug camera, which removes you from your character and lets you fly, fly around like if you were in replay mode. You can use scroll wheel up to go faster and scroll wheel down to go slower. If you want to if you want to go back to normal, you can just do toggle debug camera again. Besides the commands I'm going to put in the description, they also have some commands here in the Discord, right here in commands. And yes, on older versions of Fortnite, you are able to double pump. And it's not just normal guns that you can spawn in, you can also spawn guns that weren't released yet, like this early concept of the Clinger. One of my favorites is this weird dev gun that literally one shots everything. It's called the God Test Gun for some reason. It could literally wipe out Wailing Woods in like seconds. You can even start old events again by typing in cheat script start event. As you can see, I'm watching the first ever live event with a rocket in Season 4. So that's about it. If you need any help, you can ask in the comments below, or you can ask for help and support inside of the Rift Discord. So yeah, if you made it this far, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.